If the story's to be believed as it was put forward, it was the FBI that first approached the chief. Right, the staff. deputy said something about the story not being true. Right, and so first off, I think the assistant director of the FBI has to be spoken to by Director Comey. He shouldn't even be initiating that kind of conversation, in my view. And if I were the U.S. attorney and that was a, an FBI agent or leader under my charge in the Newark or, or Camden offices, I would have sat them down and said, you're not to have those kind of conversations with people who could be in the orbit of an investigation, because you never know where an investigation is going to go. I, I think I bring a different sensibility to it. If I were sitting um, in that position, I just would say, you know what, talk to Don McGahn about that. Um, the White House you know, counsel. Right. If you've got something to say about that, talk to the White House counsel about it. I, out of an abundance of caution. Now, I don't think that Ryan thought he was doing anything wrong. I really don't. And I have an absolute confidence in his integrity. But you need to have the sensibility of a prosecutor when you're dealing with these issues because perception matters. Okay. And that's fair enough when it comes to the de deputy director of the FBI. But what about the White House reaching out? to the FBI to get a statement that would help them with this public relations matter about whether this was being investigated and reaching out to the House and Senate chairman of the Intelligence Committee. If you'd been in that room, I have a tough time imagining you saying, oh, yeah, right, it's a great idea. Reach out to the FBI, reach out to the chairman of the Intelligence Committees. Try to get them to do your PR shop work for well, you. Well, I think part of the problem here, though, Jake, is that we set up an atmosphere where you saw the reaction from, uh, from you know, the Democrats um, saying that somehow this takes these two really... I think bright and distinguished people in the intelligence committee chairs and somehow uh, disqualifies them from being able to run a good investigation. I think that's absolutely untrue. And this is why the Democrats have lost two thirds of the state houses and the White House and the House and the Senate, because they overreach all the time. Now, what we should do here is take a deep breath and be able to look into these matters in a way that the American public will think has integrity to it.